Hi, how are you? I am Miss Tiffany Hinton, the V Phone Girl, and today I'm going to talk about thinking is the foundation of everything in your life. Um, basically, thinking is at the foundation of everything. Your thinking is the basis for your success. So that means you have to be intentional, meaning that you actually have to think about what you want in this life and what you want in the world, and the more you think about it, the more it's going to come to you. So you intentionally have to see it create vision, and just go after what you want in order for it to come back to you. There's a level below responsibility, below choices, below decisions that you need to be aware of, and that level is thinking, okay? Your thinking. Your thinking matters so much. Until we understand it and harness it, we really can't even know. Your bedrock of what you have become and everything is in your thinking. What you think, how long you think, what you're willing to think, your thinking is what makes choices, and choices and decisions determine your actions, okay? So you've got your results up here at the top. Below that, you have your actions. Then you have your choices and your decisions, and those are all based on your thinking and your beliefs. So no matter what happens in life, something happens, you have a choice, a decision to make that results in the action that you take, and that results in the results that happen. Those results create this ring around you. And this ring, every time something happens, you react, and then there's results. Good or bad, they're all there. This ring that becomes around you, it never goes away. And this ring can never be subtracted to. It can only be added to. It either becomes really magnetic, and people are attracted to you, and because it, or it can become repellent. People sometimes call this ring your reputation. So it's your ring of reputation. And so you have to constantly put positive things and thoughts into your brain and into your mind so that your thinking is always positive and that your ring of reputation becomes so magnetic for other positive people. Most people, when they want to change something in their life, they go back to the results or actions and they change those actions. But until you actually change your thinking, you, what you've done all along will eventually come back to you. So you've got to change the way you're thinking. Proverbs 24 says to build your foundation first and build your foundation on wisdom and understanding. So way back, thousands of years ago, they knew that you had to build your foundation on thinking. This is all based on an excerpt from an Andy Andrews speech. Can you believe it? You never really achieve past what you actually believe. So what you believe is all you can achieve and you're putting your own glass ceiling in place based on your beliefs, which again is based on your thinking. Um, by not talking about your goals, by what you really believe, you've just got to constantly put it out there and it becomes affirmations. But it also becomes committed because when you talk about it, then other people expect it from you. The real truth is that you can never achieve what you do not believe because your thinking controls what you believe. And that's a law. What you believe is so powerful that you cannot perform past it, even if what you believe is wrong. And that's, that's crazy to think about, but it's the truth. Until you actually believe something can happen, it never will happen for you. You'll see it happen for several other people, and you'll keep attracting it to your circle of influence, but it won't happen for you personally until you believe it can happen and until you think it can happen. Um, so think about that. I know it's kind of deep, but ponder it. Um, and if you need any more information, um, again, uh, v Phone Girl, you can keep uh, watching these blog posts on the DPWN blog and uh, check out my personal blog, vphonegirl.com, where I blog about crafting and gluten-free recipes and just life in general as being a successful business mom who's a published author and mom of two children that are under the age of two. So definitely a super mom. If you need any expert advice on being a super mom, call me up. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.